Hello everybody. Welcome to EnglishAula.com, your Cambridge exam preparation courses hosted by Professor Wilson. Two of the most important parts of the FCE exam are the writing and the speaking. This is because if prepared correctly, the mark achieved for these parts is much more controllable than for the other three parts. With the listening, reading and use of English exams, the student has to react to the exam questions given. There is little margin for the student to influence the mark. But the speaking exam allows the student to have an enormous influence on the final mark. This depends on the preparation the student does. Part 1 of the speaking exam is a one-to-one -one conversation with the examiner. It is important to understand the techniques for success in conversations. Be interesting and positive. Avoid sad negative answers. There is no obligation to be truthful. Use an appropriate sentence structure which has been discussed in another video. For example, I like shopping very much because it helps me to relax, for example, after a busy week at the office. Conversations of this kind are always layered. The first question leads to a related question. For example, do you like cooking? Followed by, what do you like cooking? Remember this when preparing this part. There are a limited number of subjects that can be discussed in part one. So, the student can prepare this part very well. The videos prepared by EnglishAula.com give a very detailed list of the subjects and questions that can turn up here. They also give suitable answers that can be practiced. Part 2 of the speaking exam requires the student to compare and contrast two images. Very few professional speakers ever speak without preparation. You should therefore prepare what you say for part 2. How should you prepare? Identify the subjects which you wish to discuss. Then, when speaking, develop these subjects in a structured way. Base your answer on the question given with the images. The main dialogue should be in the third person. Express a personal opinion at the end. Let me give you an example. Given two photos, one of a beach and one of New York, to compare and contrast them. Step 1. Describe what you see. Step 2. Prepare subjects to discuss. Stress, adventure, danger, cost. Step 3. Discuss each subject in turn in the third person. For example, New York is more dangerous because. Not, I think New York is more dangerous. Finally, express a personal opinion. If I had the choice, I would prefer to go to New York rather than the beach because... Notice a sentence structure. Sometimes the images are accompanied by a question. Use this question as the basis for your dialogue. You need to pay attention when the other student speaks because there is a section where you have to comment on their answer. Parts 3 and 4 require the student to discuss a particular theme with the aid of a set of images. The dialogue produced would be much better if some planning was done before speaking. This gives structure to the words used. Otherwise, what you say can seem disorganized. The speaking exam does not judge you on your ability to speak English. It judges your power of communication in English. This involves body language. Do not slouch or cover your mouth when speaking. It involves techniques of interaction, which means knowing how to agree, how to disagree, and how to interrupt politely. A very important element to understand for this part is the correct use of connectors and contractions, which makes the dialogue more fluid, easier to say, easier to listen to. This video has tried to give a quick look at what is needed to do well in this exam. A more detailed explanation with model answers for the speaking exam of the FCE is available at EnglishAula.com. Visit the site and see what they offer and how they can help you with your exam.
they have some very useful material. That's all for now. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Bye-bye.